amp and uh, it's going to get poured with concrete today and we go back and put the rest of it up I got the four footer poured today got the rebar sticking up once it sets up tomorrow I'll be able to start forming the back of the wall and we can put a rebar orange in the front form and pour a wall we're starting on the wall today I've removed the forms I've got my chalk lines set out where the wall is going to go and the width and the next thing I need to do is build the back panel form to get them set in place We got one panel form done. We'll have three more to go. And we'll set this one in place. The first form is set in place. The next thing we need to do is anchor it down to the concrete. To anchor these to the concrete, we're taking a 3 16 rotor hammer bit. We're going to drill down through the bottom plate. And then we're going to put two 16 penny nails in it. One penny nail and drive them tight, it won't move. That's all you have to do, and it's secure. We'll do three or four places. What I'm going to do is to establish a proper slope here. I've stood up the plywood. I've got a screw on the other end holding it in place. I'm going to attach a string line to it and pull it to the end. I'm going to chalk it, and that'll be the slope we need. I've put two pieces of plywood together, one here and one here, and I'm going to cut them both at one time. It makes both of my sides with just one cut. I've got the back side of the form in place, built in place. Next thing I need to do is come back in, cut some rebar, extend some up, and put my rebar in. And I'll be ready to close up the outside and brace it off. I've got the rebar in, ready to go. And all we have to do is make the outer form and then put it in, brace it up when we're ready to pour concrete. We'll do that tomorrow. The forms are all up now. All I gotta do is brace it off tomorrow. 
make sure the it's plumb and uh, it'll be ready to pour concrete tomorrow. I've got the wall braced off now. Next step, pour the concrete. Concrete pour. It took 22 bags, 60 pound mix to put it in. Now I'm going to just smooth it out and let it sit for a while. Now we let it sit for a couple of hours until it sets up and then we can finish it. I stripped the forms for the wall. It looks really good, nice and straight and level. And it's going to cure for a few days. Now the fun part starts. I have to take all this dirt over here and shove it all over here to fill this up. It'll probably take me a couple of days to do that. But all in all, it looks real good to the light alone. The ramp update today is the day I spent most of the day filling up with dirt, getting it brought up somewhat to grade and getting it compact. I still have to come up about three more inches with the dirt, so we don't use too much concrete. We got the back form put in, the side form put in, and uh, we're just about ready for concrete. We still got some rebar and some other stuff to go in. But it's getting there quickly. I've got the ramp filled up and graded. I'm now putting down insulation board. I am going to have a radiant hot water heating system in this ramp. When it snows and freezes here, we'll be able to just heat it and it'll melt off the ramp. It'll be a lot safer that way than trying to get down. So the next thing I need to do is put the other piece of insulation in, lay my radiant tubing down in the rebar, and then I will be ready. We're set up and ready for concrete. Got the rebar in. I've got the heating tubes in. It's going to heat it for the winter time. Keep what snow and ice we get up here melted off. But it's ready to pour concrete. That's the next step. This is our first section of concrete we got poured yesterday. It's pretty good. This will be the landing that we'll make the turn and head down the walkway with, which we'll start next week. But today, I'm going to finish up pouring this section right here. And then we got about 22 bags of concrete we got to put in here. The entrance ramp is now poured and finished. All we gotta do is let it set overnight and for a couple of days and let it build its strength so we can take all the forms off. The next thing we're gonna do is we'll start putting the walkway under here, getting it built up and graded the slopes away from the building and put our pavers down. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and comment, we'd appreciate it. Thank you.